and the better hair. I caught my first tagged fish. Good morning everyone. Welcome to Max Extreme River Fishing and Outdoors. Today we're in the beautiful longleaf pine forest of eastern North Carolina. It's the home of the big southern fox squirrel. That's what we're after today. I'm gonna be going after them with this 20, uh, excuse me, 16 gauge single shot. My first gun, I still have it, it's just like this, it's 20 gauge, but this is a 16 I picked up a few years ago. Um, but anyway, stay tuned. We're gonna see some nice action soon. Probably show you some nice deer sign and squirrel sign, um, but I'll see you in just a second. Hey guys, look at the hole in this scrub oak. You can tell a squirrel has been using that. There may be one in there. Couldn't get them to come out. Uh, but anyway, they uh, they'll nest in this scrub oaks pretty low to the ground because these trees don't get that big. Uh, but anyway, what started off as a nice day has turned to drizzle rain, which is okay. Makes for easy walking around the woods. I put 16,000 steps on my Fitbit today. I saw a black fox squirrel early in the morning. He gave me the slip. So I stayed the rest of the day. And right before dark, he gave me the slip again on this patch of woods here. So I'm bound to determine I'm going to get this squirrel. So um, stay tuned for the second part because I will be back out here next week. Hey, good morning. I'm back at it again. We've done gone by some deer scrapes. I'm making my way back to where I'm gonna sit for that black fox score I've been seeing. Um, I'd like to see that deer, but today we're fox squirrel hunting. But anyway, I got my 20 gauge number four shot right here. Uh, it's a good morning. It's gonna snow tomorrow, so hopefully these Squirrel's gonna come out and feed today. It's a beautiful morning. Anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna see a good old fox squirrel. Hey guys, I see one in that tree way over there. You can you can't probably see him from the thing, but I'm gonna make a run for it in just a second. Cause if I walk slowly, he'll get in a hole or take off. See that tree right up there. See that tree right up there. Got him.
Got him. Fox squirrel, southern fox squirrel. Hey guys, there he is. Like I said, I saw that sucker about 80 yards away. All I saw was his white nose up on the top of that tree. He he's living he was living in this tree right here. There's a hole up towards the top. But I got on too fast. He was scared to come. He was in the very top. He was scared probably to come down enough to get in the other hole. There's another hole about right in there, but he was all the way at the top. So I rushed him so quick he couldn't get back in that hole. But in this scrub oak, there's not a lot of big trees. Trees with holes in them until you get into the bottoms. Until you get in the creek bottoms where it's real thick. So sometimes they're, they live in these trees that really aren't that big. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have seen him. It wasn't for his white nose. You'd be surprised how much a black squirrel can blend in on these trees. But I would have never seen him if it wasn't for his white nose. Unless he'd have made some noise. Uh, that was the tree he was living in. I shot him up at the top of it. Right up there. That's old scrub oak. So anyway, number four shot of a 20 gauge. Did the job. All right, guys, that was a little exciting right there. I've been sitting there since eight o'clock. They say fox squirrels are late risers and about 9.30, all I could see was his white nose in the top of a tree, old scraggly scrub oak. Um, kind of dead at the top. He had come out of his hole about 10, 15 foot down. There was a big hole at the bottom, but all I could see was his white. And I was thinking, is that part of the sky? Um, but I kept watching, and then I saw what was part of the tail up against the tree. But you can't hardly see these black squirrels up against these dark trees. You'd be surprised. You'd think they would stick out, but they don't. But anyway, I had to rush a tree, so I'm out, I was out of breath. Um, I shoot a shotgun. People say, well, tear them up. Well, it does tear them up if you shoot them within 10 yards, 15 yards. But I usually, like if I've got one in a tree like that, he's not moving, I'll back up, you know, 30, get away 30 yards. That's what I did and shoot it. And that's why I didn't rush up on them and shoot them again. Um, but anyway, it doesn't tear them up. I mean, if you look right there, I shot him with number four shot. Um, beautiful tail. Probably not going to mount this one because this one's not the biggest one. They're a lot bigger than this. I'll probably use that for fly tying. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do me a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all guys next time.